Hello viewers and welcome to our first video on the crew. I've been away for a couple of weeks but I'll be back catching up with all the video content and here we see a slightly extended video looking at the crew running at 60 frames per second on the PC version on a 60 frames per second video as well and I've noticed that the frame rate makes a huge difference to the look and feel of the game as I smack into a truck there because it was in the way and continue on my race uh, the triple screens makes uh, I know, real, really, running at 60 frames, it just makes it feel so much more open in terms of an environment. Uh, but I'm going to go through the racing now, just my first few races on the game, and I'm going to have many more videos to come as I explore the map uh, and take on board your suggestions as what you'd like to see as well as I work my way around on this race. Now, I'm going to talk a bit about the game layout. I'm not reviewing it. We've got James Allen reviewing it on the VV website. Uh, of course we've only just got it so it's going to take a little bit of time for him to work his way through the game uh, and explain the pros and cons of it i'm going to talk a little bit about it as i drive first con actually you'll notice sir uh, is the the way the driver's eye shifts now you can see the steering wheel in game is no longer in line with my own uh, it's almost like the player's view changes as the car goes over lumps and bumps and that really affects my uh, awareness of the width of the car uh, I'm noticing here and I'm looking at it now and thinking hang on I'm looking slightly out of the side of the car so it's, it's a very curious effect that they've given it that comes up quite a few times throughout my gameplay in car and I find it quite off-putting that my steering wheel is no longer in line with the wheel but either way the look and feel of the game running 60 frames is so much improved that's me they're just pointing out to myself what's gone on there well whatever that was about i have no idea what the idea was behind that i'm sure the developers had an idea but uh, in practical terms you can see there the steering wheel starts off in line with my own and occasionally depending on the car depending on the lumps and bumps you go over it's no longer there at the end of it now what's this a perf spec you'll see much improved speed here i'm using uh, the shifts the paddle shifts on the wheel to change gear but I, I have noticed that uh, at least over my sound system the engine noise is very quiet in game and on a few cars I don't always get the up shifts because I'm not hearing the engine well enough and the engine doesn't have a separate section in the sound menu which I, I find quite strange so you've got one option just for sound and effects uh, which means obviously you know you try to turn up your engine but then you get overly loud sound effects so you still can't hear your engine very well so it's certainly uh, an unusual approach in that way as well music is turned off of course because of uh, issues with YouTube now you can see already my steering wheel has moved moves around a fair bit if anyone knows how to lock that in position I will appreciate any advice maybe I'm the one getting it wrong there I've just gone into the game uh, now the handling on this car is obviously very different. I know a lot, a lot of people talk about handling. Handling of the majority of muscle cars is very sloppy. I'm going to work my way through the game to find out if all the cars handle like this or some cars handle better than others. Certainly I've enjoyed the raid spec sort of off-road dirt vehicles. I'm quickly working my way through on this one. So, it's the end of that round. Look at that. Lovely. Love a bit of Aston. Uh, the game is filled with challenges besides the story mode and these are all over the map so you can get points and points mean prizes essentially so just working my way around here I don't know any of this I mean obviously you're seeing me driving a lot of this I've done some of this on the early beta but I'm sure it's a slightly different route at the time but, uh, I've gone way beyond where I was on the beta now and I'm enjoying it so far but I am finding that the and I'm going to talk about this on a future video I am finding the gameplay slightly convoluted and overly complex in terms of the structure of what you're supposed to do and where you're supposed to go I'm going to talk about that on a future video but for now I've really cut together all the racing you know getting all the loading screens out of the way getting all the selecting the next race I find that there's sometimes too much time between one race and the next you know I just want to fix I just want to get racing this is what I want and this is what I'm putting into the video here 
Uh, we will have some extended videos that uh, those of you who've watched my channel for a long time will know from test drive days is Sunday drives and that's not going to be that's going to be commentated live it's going to include all the lumps and bumps in fact I've got a little bit of a mini Sunday drive on here but not, not a proper one that will all be probably next week onwards still a little bit under the weather at the moment as I've been away for a while been a bit unwell so taking a time out to recover and uh, getting back into it properly next week so racing along then uh, obviously you jump into a new car new handling um, and this car was a good example of one that I felt was a bit sloppy uh, very unresponsive for me and it catches me out when the again when the steering wheel moves about a bit uh, makes it a little bit tricky for me in a moment and I start hitting stuff on the uh, right hand side because awareness of the car is slightly off because of the changing point of view so racing along then okay look at that nice and smooth and that's where I hit that post there I thought hang on steering wheels moved so chasing up behind this guy but no problem we're committed here going through on the inside that's it take a bit of the scenery and then save your nitro boost for the line so working through these initial challenges, I'm not going to give away any of the storyline, but it's Fast and Furious, so if you've seen Fast and Furious, you're going to get the idea. Does it, uh, I don't know, it, it's just, whether it promotes crime in some of these things, I don't know, but uh, you know, no, it's not that easy to get fast sports cars, but uh, either way, I'm driving through a few fields. I quite enjoy this part of it. Uh, I like the open world environment and just driving off. That's what you're going to see on my Sunday drives, more of that. Driving to my next location. I stop here and I think, All right, what am I doing? This occasionally happens as well. You, you come to the wrong point or you slightly get mixed up or some of the other online players are there and no one knows what they're doing so we'll just overtake those guys I'm not doing online just yet I'm waiting till online sorts itself out there's been a few niggles here and there and I just wanted to get through the one player story first so uh, now I'm using my Xbox controller uh, to run the menu so I'm actually using my Xbox controller in conjunction with my wheel just because it's easier to cycle through the menus with a controller and then continuing on from there into the raid spec car we're going to see in just a moment my favourite class. Got another raid spec uh, class on the next video I produce, no doubt. There's uh, one I just got to, so work my way through there. And you can see, for those of you that own the console versions, you'll see just how much smoother it's running now. And this isn't even running on the highest graphic settings. Uh, when I get a PC upgrade, I'm going to run the whole thing on the highest settings, but it just looks a bit better as I just adjust my camera and away we go. Oh, that feels nice, doesn't it? You know, as soon as that triple screen hits in, opens that field of view, runs so smoothly. Fantastic. You know, it was it wasn't running. It was running at 30 frames on the triple screens at the trade shows. So, seeing it 60 frames for the first time on triple screens is, you know, it's a real difference. And I'm running it on high. Now I'm running it on high. My PC probably can do ultra settings, but I wanted it to be rock solid 60 frames, no drops. And that's what we've got here, so I'd rather a bit more smoother frame rate just to keep it nice and smooth. Now this guy's a slippery fellow, I, I, I've taken him out really quickly before now, but sometimes when you just miss him, uh, it's it can be quite a, a challenge getting to him and yeah, you can slip about quite a bit, so... So having said that, I didn't really want it to end. I was quite enjoying this section. This has been by far my favourite section of the game. I, in a way, this, this race is another point for me. I wish there was a way in which you could say, hey, I want to do the raid, raid spec version of the game. You know, I'd like to select the car class I want to drive. Why do I have to spend hours driving a car I'm not as interested in? I just want to upgrade to this now and just drive this all the time. Uh, if it was like this all the time, I, I'd be absolutely loving it. Uh, but you know that's that's part of the game structure uh, it's it's weird isn't it there's a, there's a few things I'm going to come across in the in the next videos when I, like upgrading your car you get a car you go to the upgrade shop you can't buy any upgrades for it uh, it's like there's limitations on what you can do 
So I'm closing up on, uh, and maybe I've got it completely wrong, but if I have got it completely wrong, that's just simply because it's not entirely clear to me. And uh, there's a few things that aren't here and there. But uh, either way, working way along. Look at the great feeling of speed you get from this as well. Really cool feeling of speed. And there's lots of stuff in these huge environments. I mean, let's not muck about. This is a massive map, loads of detail. Great to see. Water coming in there, no problem. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh. I've lost him. Oh, he's gone past. He's gone past. Okay, I've got to get after him now. No mucking about now. I need to get him. The time is ticking down. And we're getting down to 30 seconds to go, Mark. So I'm, I know I've got to get one clean hit in. Save up some nitro boost. And there it is. Boom. Taking him down. Out for the count. It's a shame we couldn't have the music in that section because it's got quite of a, a heavy soundtrack to those sections which works really well with them. And you kind of miss that in terms of atmosphere that you'll all be playing at home. But I'm back in my car again now and uh, it's the end of that mission. <clears throat> now the roads uh, do get quite tricky and dangerous when you've got a lot of online players driving about. They are quite a reckless bunch, aren't we all? So I'm going to drive off um, on my way. a little bit of a little bit of a lag there and that's something else I'll point out there is a bit of steering lag um, that some of you will probably have already noticed from the beginning of the video um, the in-game hands there and all that hey, yo, man, come get me. Um, everywhere. Well, I've just turned the game on a press start and uh, we're gonna go see how we get on so I'm working our way now to a section to pick up one of our guys and uh, then there'll be a bit of a getaway and a getaway I'll make a right mess of the getaway you're about to see uh, I did it on the Xbox version in all of 30 seconds just drove off down the road really fast and got away that was it uh, whereas on here uh, I make a bit of a meal of it but either way it's good fun I like the cop chase stuff uh, we're going to our friend's place hammering it around these streets I'm still learning the handling on this game, you know, but there is a little bit of delay and input lag and reaction there. I think the input lag issue is something they really need to tie up. It gives the handling a very sloppy feel uh, and it, it means that you can't really confidently drive as well as you could and would if it, the car was right under you. So. Now, uh, I apologies for the lighting here. I should have had a bit more light on me. It would have brightened up the environment and the screen a bit more, but I'm always testing with this GoPro angle as to what works best for you, uh, the viewer, and yeah, just to do something different. You know, everyone else is doing direct feed, and so I thought, hey, you know, I've got the rig. Why not do something completely different? And it gives it a bit more of a, an atmosphere as a cop car goes through me, never mind. And away we go. Now pushing hard, getting away from the cops. Now all I did before was go in a straight line. And I just pulled away from them with my intro, turned a few corners at the end and, I, and they were gone. And this time on the PC version, the cops are just on me, hitting me every opportunity. Damn. So uh, I'm like, wow, the cops are way more aggressive on this version than they were for me on the Xbox for some reason. I'm sure the game developers will tell me there's no difference, Alan. It's just your driving. Uh, probably true. Uh, so I'm thinking, right, let's get away from... Oh, he was right in the way, that guy. Oh, I couldn't go where I wanted to go. <laughs> just trying to keep control while I'm basically being pushed constantly. See if I can get away now. There, the car just span out there, trying to go too quick into the corner, but it doesn't matter. We're going again. See if I can lose them in this small section at first, just get a bit of space between me and them. They're right on me. Guy's bashing me now. Oh dear. And these cops are hard on it. But again, you know, you look at the lighting and the visuals on the PC version here, running nice and smooth. It's a little bit more next-gen than, say, the next-gen console versions. 
I say next gen, current gen, new gen, whatever you want to call them. Um, as we race through a building complex now. And so the police don't see me very well in here. So I assume the, the eyes in the sky don't see you when you go through the building. And then I just come through there and say, right, I'm going to be sensible now. Not do any more damage. And just cruise for a moment. Um, no one's going to spot my big blue Ford Mustang driving around in that area. It's very inconspicuous. Okay, so back racing again now. Towards the end of the video. Uh, lots more to come. Uh, there's going to be lots of different cars exploring different parts of the map. Uh, off-road sections. I'm going to go through the whole thing. You know, really, you know, this is a game that you need to take uh, a lot of time on before you come to any conclusions. You know, you know, some moments you're loving it, some moments you're not. Some moments you know what you're doing, some moments you're completely lost. So it's a game of exploring and getting into the, the whole car culture feel of it. Uh, and, and I really want to get to the bottom of this handling issue to see if it's a fundamental issue or if it's something that uh, affects different cars and it's something we'll look into but I'm going to finish on a bit of a fail uh, this is a drag race of a car that is way more powerful than my own if anyone gets stuck on this section all you need to do is go away make sure you've completed all the other sections in terms of story mode uh, and complete some small events as well then you'll get all the parts you need on your car to just come back and beat this guy so it's, it's quite simple but I just wanted to leave this in here anyway to show that everybody gets beaten when you reach this stage it's uh, the whole point of this section is it's impossible to win this race without required upgrades on the car. Uh, but um, that's it for this video now uh, and there'll be more the crew action from me very soon.